Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Fierce Wireless. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So we got a network update out of Verizon. Verizon network slicing operational, but it's in trials. So they are trialing. That's something that Verizon does very similar, you can say, to Apple. There's been Androids that have had all this technology built into their phones but then Apple comes out way later, implements the same technology, but Apple trials it until it is 100% right. And usually by the time that Apple implements and unveils that technology, it usually runs better on an iPhone than, than any Android that that technology has been on. Whether it's a fingerprint scanner, face ID, whatever the case may be. And Verizon is the same. Verizon said... You know, our standalone network is in progress and we will have 5G standalone, but we don't feel the need to deploy it right now because we want to make sure that we get it right. And it's the same here with the network slicing. They want to deploy this when it is ready. So Verizon is working on public safety network slicing. Verizon and T-Mobile are racing to provide commercial network slicing. Verizon is, is not really a part of that race. Let's be honest. If we, if we go by prior commentary, Verizon doesn't care what T-Mobile does. T-Mobile has had standalone since 2019. They've had it on mid-band for a lot longer. T-Mobile has had commercial network slicing that they're actually loading up, right, with commercial traffic. And Verizon is not flinching because Verizon wants to get it right. Same with the standalone course. Same with Voice over NR. Verizon wants to get that right. So there was an operational demonstration day at, at, uh, at Verizon HQ. And in this trial, we're learning more, which is what I just discussed. They, they want to learn. They want to make sure that it's right. And the demo that they used was an Axon 3 video cameras and a wireless router to deliver the data over 5G. Now, I have been told that the standalone core is being loaded up, but today it's only on FWA. So FWA users have or are using a standalone 5g core but nobody's really noticing the difference right like you wouldn't know if you were on a standalone core your your, your stuff's still loading the same as it did prior so most people don't know that they've been handed off from nsa to sa but i have been told commercially they have verizon has put some traffic some fwa traffic onto the standalone core and i assume this will gradually increase the network slicing. Verizon will use it uh, probably a little bit this year commercially, I'm sure, sometime later in the year. And then next year, they'll scale it some more. They have some scale to catch up. We, we understand that. The, the mid-band is scaling very quickly, but there's still the low band that needs to... That, that they, need, they need all three layers. They need millimeter wave, they need mid-band, but they also need low band. And that's another piece. They have to move their PCS eventually to 5G, their AWS to 5G. They need all of those pieces as well to put all of that on the standalone core to activate voice over NR. And at scale, they're just behind on that. They still have tons of radios they need to, they need to deploy uh, on the low band section, at least in markets where there's band five. Band 13, not certified as an NR band yet. So that's something that Verizon will have to figure out. How they figure that out? Remains to be seen. Some people are saying they should have participated in 600 megahertz auction. I mean, that's up for debate, but that's, that's what some are saying. Verizon will figure it out. Verizon will do what Verizon does best, and that's networking. They will wait. They will take the wait-and-see approach. They will test vigorously, and then they will put it out when it's commercially ready, and they feel that it, it will be a same the, the same network that all of the consumers and businesses have been used to for years, the same reliable network. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.